Hey there, Unsolved Mysteries fans. Where would Legacy back at you with another video? Uh, so, I was talking to Nam's Noodle um, about a week ago almost, uh, last Sunday, and uh, we were talking about doing like some sort of uh, collaboration here, and he suggested that we do the uh, Frederick Young case. So, uh, you know, I don't know when he's going to make a video on it, but I think he's going to. I'm not sure, but I'm sure he'll let me know and uh, he'll post one out. And I'll talk a bit, a little bit more about Nam after this, uh, after I go through this case here. Uh, so I'm just going to get into it right now. I've got Unsolved Mysteries Wiki up and uh, up in front, up in front of me, and I'm just going to get into it right now. So um, this case uh, took place on uh, June 9th, 1993. So about 23 years ago, or yeah, exactly 23 years ago. Uh, in 1993, Frederick L. Young was pulled over by police by police for a busted tail light on his car, but he did not have a driver's license. Uh, he gave the identical he gave the name of his identical twin brother Cedric Young to the officers. Uh, Frederick did this because he knew that it, he knew that his brother Cedric had a valid driver's license. Uh, when the officers ran a ch when a ch ran a check. Um, they found that Cedric had committed a robbery. Meanwhile, the officers asked if they could search the vehicle. Uh, Frederick agreed, having nothing to hide. Uh, the officers found a bag of a bag with guns and in it and proceeded to arrest him for robbery. Uh, there is evidence to suggest that Cedric may, might have had a part in an armed robbery of a of a hotel. Uh, the longtime childhood friend of Cedric and Frederick who was also involved with the crime, stated during an Unsolved Mysteries video on and on trial that it was Cedric that was with him on the night of the robbery. Uh, Frederick now sits in jail for the crime, for that crime, even as Cedric's own friends testify that the wrong twin was arrested. Uh, meanwhile, authorities believe they have the right brother in custody. Uh, the mother of the twins believes that Cedric was not was the one who committed the robbery. Uh, after the trial, Frederick's attorney's license was uh, suspended because he did not represent the client as he should have. Uh, Frederick now has a new attorney in hopes of getting the case reopened and solved. Uh, Frederick received a 68-year sentence. Wow. Um, uh, so the case has also appeared on the Sally Jesse uh, Raphael show, uh, where Frederick tearfully pleaded with his brother to tell the truth. Uh, Cedric showed no remorse until he saw his brother cry. Uh, now the results, you know, um, as Frederick is still uh, sitting in jail. Now, you know, I gotta go with, uh, you know, you look at the two, and you know, Cedric's more, or Frederick is more, uh, more uh, clean cut and everything where you know Cedric kind of looks a bit more kind of like gang related like he could be in a gang or something but you know that's kind of besides the point it really doesn't matter how a person looks really um, but yeah you know I don't think uh, you know I don't think it's right that Cedric just kind of let Frederick take the fall for this um, You know, I think I think it's wrong. You know, the guy should have uh, said that they had the wrong guy, and you know, took the uh, sentence. You know, and you know, took his punishment for the crime that he committed. Um, you know, Frederick's already served 23 years of his life in prison, and you know, uh, the guy doesn't deserve it, man. I think. You know, Cedric should um, should have came out, and still should come out, and tell the truth and say that he committed this crime, and you know, release his brother because it's you know to me uh, it sounds it seems and definitely sounds like his brother is innocent, and he, and you know it's just not right, man. A family should have your back uh, with everything, you know. It's just it's just how it is. So you know, that's pretty just pretty much just my thoughts on that case. You know, there's not a whole lot for me to kind of give a theory on or anything. 
so you know it's pretty just it's pretty much just my description and my opinion on what should happen. Uh, you know now I kind of want to talk about Nam's Noodle for a minute here. Um, yeah, like I said, you know uh, him and I are, are, are collaborating on this case, so I'm sure he'll be giving his. Um, I haven't I haven't spoken to him, but I haven't spoken to him in a week, so um, you know I'm not sure if he's gonna make a video on it. I think he might. Um, but I'm, I'm sure I'll be talking to him eventually sometime. I'll hit him up on Twitter. But, um, yeah, you know, um, he's a great he's a great guy, you know. I've talked to him briefly, you know. I've watched a lot of his videos and stuff, and he's a good guy, you know. And he has a lot of, uh, he, he has a lot of good opinions on a lot of different stuff, whether it's wrestling, sports, uh, unsolved mysteries. You know, he hasn't done unsolved mysteries in quite a while, but, you know, I've always, the, the videos that I have watched, he, uh, he does a lot of good, um, like, review, like uh, reviews of the case, and he has a lot of good like theories and opinions on them as well. Uh, you know, he actually, he's actually one of the guys who I who I watched and who I still continue to watch that um, inspired me to create a YouTube channel. And you know, especially him, because like in the beginning, you know, like this uh, this was just going to be an unsolved mysteries uh, channel, but then. You know, I kind of branched out more and kind of went into wrestling and comics and gaming and all that stuff, all the other content that I have on here. And, uh, but you know what, this all basically started because of Nam's Noodle, you know, um, just, uh, his, uh, you know, his love for Unsolved Mysteries and being a fan kind of inspired me to do my own, uh, channel and my own, give my own opinions and descriptions of the cases and you know, keep Unsolved Mysteries alive, you know, he's very, he's, uh, he, you look at some of his videos and he's passionate about that, and he still is, um, and you know, so am I, you know, I love Unsolved Mysteries, um, you know, it's, a, it's one of those shows, you know, um, that, you know, if I was home from school, or if I had gotten home just in time from school, and it was on TV, you know, I'd watch it, and I remember freaking, um, you know, being home alone and just watching it, you know, kind of getting scared, you know, because, like, you know, I was only, like, I don't know, you know, like, eight, nine, maybe ten or so when I first started watching the shows, and, you know, I'd hide at night, you know, and stuff like that, because you'd watch some of the murder cases, and you'd see that the guy is still out there. So, you know, you'd want to hide and stuff, you know, I, that's just something funny for me. I don't know if anybody else is, else that did it, but... You know, I definitely did that quite a bit back in the day, but you know, I still kept watching because I just I loved it. I loved the show, and uh, you know, I've always loved uh, crime stuff. And you know, um, you know, it's just it's such it's such a great show, and it's a shame that it's not on anymore, or that they don't even show it anymore. And it's a shame that you know you really have to go on on YouTube to look through it and look through YouTube to actually find videos, you know, because a lot of them are just taken down, and it's, it's hard to find, but, you know, and, you know, that also is why I started this channel, you know, just because of that, but also because of Nam's Noodle, you know, because I watched his stuff, and I was like, you know, this guy's passionate about Unsolved Mysteries, you know, he's got a good, he's got a lot of good reviews, and views, and uh, opinions, and theories on what could have went down in the cases and whatnot, and I was like, you know what, I'm not the best, uh, you know, talking in front of a camera, I'm not the best talking in front of people either, you know, but, you know, I'll give it my shot, I'll give it my best shot, and I'll do it, because, you know, I have a passion for this show, and then, and for these cases that are still unsolved today, you know, 20, 30 years, some even 40 years, way before even my time that I find interesting that are still unsolved and, you know, missing people and murders and most wanted people and stuff like that, you know. Um, and, you know, I'm kind of getting off track here, but, you know, I just, um, you know, that's why I started this series, you know, because of my love for the show and Nam's Noodle and then just kind of, I started kind of evolving and making more series, you know, where I wanted to start talking about wrestling, doing gaming videos and stuff like that, but basically, Nam's Noodle basically 
mostly inspired this series, inspired this channel in the beginning when I first started it out, but a couple months ago. And uh, you know, the guy's a great guy, and uh, I, I enjoy talking to him on on Twitter uh, when he when he's on and when he replies to me and stuff like that. You know, he's a he's a good guy, and uh, you know, I'm I'm if he does do the case, which I'm pretty sure he is going to, um, I'm definitely going to be looking forward to his video on it, and. Uh, you know what, uh, subscribe to him, you know, because, you know, he's a good guy and he's got a lot of different opinions on different stuff and, uh, his content's very, uh, his content's very good. And, uh, yeah, I'll put his, uh, I'll put his channel link in the description and I'll put his Twitter in, this, in the description as well so you can follow him on there and, uh, you can talk to him, you know, he's a good guy and, um, you know, I kind of focused on that a bit more than the case, but the guy definitely deserves, um, the guy definitely deserves it, you know, like, I don't got a whole lot of subscribers, he's like, he has a lot more than I do, but, you know, he, like, I just wanted him, I wanted him to know that, that, you know, basically, he was the, he was one of the main people in the beginning who inspired me to start this channel and to start this series up, so, uh, you know what, man, thank you, man, and, uh, I'm looking forward to your video, and, uh, yeah, you know, that's pretty much all I gotta say right now, um, There'll probably be a couple more videos today. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to try and fit a stream in tonight as well of WWE uh, 2K16. Um, so yeah, you know what? If you like this video and you like my content, you know, like, subscribe, uh, comment. We can discuss this case and others in the comment section. You can give me your opinions, your thoughts on it. Uh, you know, like it's, it's one of those cases, you know, that's kind of short and there's not a whole lot to talk about. You can't give your theories on but it's definitely a good case, and you know, uh, Frederick definitely deserves uh, another chance. And I think, you know, if Cedric did do this crime, then you know he should own up to it and get his brother out of jail because he's already served out. He's already served part of his sentence in there. And he's been in there for 23 years, so he deserves to be free. But anyway, um, yeah. So if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, comment, and uh, you know that's pretty much all I got to say right now. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. We were done.